Hi, Afif. Hi. Uh, Hola. <laughs> Hola. Uh, tell me about you. Uh, who you are, what you do, where you live. Okay, um, my name is Afif. I'm from, from Tunisia. I live in Tunis. I'm 22 years old. Um, I, I, I am an author for Global Voices Online. I write in English, mostly about Tunisia, but sometimes about the MENA region. And I also work for, um, for Index on Censorship. Mm -hmm. I, I report about censorship and freedom of expression related stories in Tunisia. Yeah. Uh, how many times do you have in global? How many? What? Uh, since when? Uh, um, I've been. Yeah, I started contributing in Global Voices in February 2011. Yeah. Um, and I found it. It was actually funny, but um, Global Voices Online used to be like censored in Tunisia, and I've only heard about it after the the fall of you know of the former regime. Yeah. And I, I, of course, I emailed you know many region editor, and I was really excited you know about my first post. And then you know I had like a second and a third, and now I have I think I've published more than 50 posts, and mm -hmm. and I'm planning to to continue publishing for Global Voices. You're real prolific. <laughs> and um, how these posts have been received in, in, in your country? Well, um, um, well, I mean, I'm not sure if many people in my country have read my posts. I have the impression that um, people from outside Tunisia, from the English-speaking English world, mm -hmm. uh, are the ones who who mostly like read my post, but of course, I mean, I've been, um, I have some 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 reactions about my post, and I guess, I mean, some people do like uh, what I write for Global Voices. Uh, or maybe it was a Tunisian diaspora. Maybe, maybe. I mean, who knows? I mean, I'm sure there are like some Tunisians out there who, who read my posts, but I always have the impression that it's mostly, you know, because I write in English. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. And, um, well, this is in fact the second uh, summit you attend. No, 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 this is my first summit. Your first? Yeah. Uh, uh, but you told me the, there was an uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Arab. Yeah, it was, yeah, okay, it was like the Arab bloggers meeting in, uh, uh, which took place in Tunis uh, in October last year. There so yeah, I, I did attend the like two days there. Yeah. There were a, a lot of givers there too. Uh, there were, yeah, there were like two years, but mostly from the MENA region. And there were like other people, I mean, who were not like part of uh, GV. And I think that was, that was the first time for me to see like people from Global Voices like to, to have the opportunity to interact with them in the mm -hmm. real life. Mm -hmm. And what uh, what is your what are your impressions of this summit? This is this is, it's just amazing. It's just um uh I, I, it's just, it's, I mean, the diversity of the Global Voices community is just wonderful, you know, I've learned a lot. Uh, I've learned, you know, how people like, uh, like they, they're trying, you know, to, to revive their mother tongue using, thanks to Global Voices and thanks to, to Rising Voices, it's just, um, it's just, it was just amazing. Um, hopefully I'll, 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 I'll also take part in the next summit in, <laughs> in, in two years. <laughs> Uh, well, what what is, uh, other things uh, you do? Can you tell us about the, your job, your work? Yeah, well, well, yeah. I think I would like to tell you uh, a little bit of my my job. Uh, I mean, before working for Index on Censorship, I I worked as an editor for Tunisia Life. It's um, it's an English-speaking website uh, about about uh, Tunisia, and then I had the opportunity to work with uh, uh, the Institute for War and Peace Reporting. I was uh, we were uh, actually doing trainings on election coverage mm -hmm. um, for, for Tunisian journalists before the election, but, uh, with, but with Index, I feel like I'm doing what I really love. I mean, I, I, I like the team, and I had like, the possibility to choose like, my own stories, and uh, so um, I'm, I'm pretty much happy about my job now with, with Index. Um, of course, I mean, what, what I do is 
I, I, I always like try to look for stories or for people who were censored or for uh, a protest which was not allowed to take place for uh, for I don't know for people who were assaulted either by police or by um, by you know extremists for for telling for expressing themselves so I try to look for those stories and report on them but at the same time I, I do like I mean writing uh, like positively about about like Tunisia because there are like some positive things going on there for instance I wrote like this post about how uh, political cartoons uh, are flourishing in Tunisia thanks to uh, you know, after the the fall of the regime, so this is this is like an overview an overview of what I do. Mm -hmm. And uh, what, or what is it? How you see the future or the of Tunisia uh, politics yeah, well, um, in your country? Yeah, I mean it's. Uh, I mean, it's going to take a lot of time before we uh, we really um, we're really satisfied about what was going on in Tunisia. I mean, uh, well, personally, right now, right now, I'm not that satisfied and that uh, happy about the political situation there. But um, because I I believe that the uh, that the pace of change is so slow. I mean, uh, for instance, like I mean, we have we have like we still do not know who killed. Uh, the protesters who took to the streets uh, during, uh, I mean, during the uprising. I mean, and um, people are still being censored in Tunisia, even though maybe, maybe not to uh, to, to the same degree during uh, the former regime, but still we can't allow this to happen again. And also, this is this is maybe related to freedom of speech. And but at the same time, we have to, to remember that in in Tunisia, when people first took to the streets, they they were demanding, I mean, uh, jobs. They were demanding social justice. They were de demanding, I mean, freedom. Uh, but but I mean, how, how much? I mean, how to, to what? To what degree is uh, the life, the lives of these people are really changing? Not not very much actually, and of course, I mean this takes time. So um, um, so for me, what I hope is that is that uh, we have like.